Welcome back to the channel guys. So we have a new member to the family. It's an Acura TXX Milano Red. And uh, great car, I had a black one before. Most of you guys know if you guys followed my channel. And not much content on it, but we I sold it for the Ridge Line uh, three years ago, three years later. We, you know, we got another one in the family. And, uh, and now we're just prepping it for winter. Right now it's September, uh, perfect weather, 70 degrees easy to work with outside not too hot not too cold uh, but this year I'm using a different product but it is a product similar to uh, fluid film now fluid film does wash off and um, this one's supposed to be thicker uh, and it, it should last much longer we're gonna try that uh, get into the car real quick prep it up for cleaning uh, as much as I can I, I might not I probably won't do a complete wash off of all the dirt and whatnot depending on the condition um but these uh splash you does add up uh, quite a bit more time to to get to the spraying part um so now i'm gonna take off all the wheels uh, get expose all the suspension spray it all down uh where it needs to be uh, you don't want to overdo it with the suspension um and then get the rear axle front axle and then the undercarriage shouldn't take no more than three hours from start to finish uh, really, at this point, it's really just a prep time and uh, removing all the splash shield. Uh, spraying, it should only take like half an hour to spray. Um, so, uh, let's see. This park is similar to fluid film and it's doesn't have that smell for some reason yeah it smells doesn't have that annoying smell like fluid film uh, so uh, we we'll see how that goes right <laughs> um, so now well, when I bought this I bought the uh, I think these are the 360 uh, spray so you put in the uh, the frame and it sprays around 360 in the frame for full coverage which this cost me like 15 bucks, I believe. Um, and this one right here is for uh, narrow spots, just a straight uh, uh, spray, but for long reach. Um, this cost me an additional, I believe. Now I did bought the, uh, the, the professional uh, spray specifically for linoleum oil. So, I mean, I've tried spraying with the typical uh, paint spray gun and it didn't work out too well. Uh, I just kept clogging up. So hopefully this park is better. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So now I'm just gonna prep it up, put it in a bottle and um, start spraying uh, and see how that works out. All right. So as far as what I'm seeing here, everything is covered, uh, which is excellent. Try to get the suspension real good. Um, other than that, I think everything is good here. All the exposed metal right there. Just give a quick shot at. perfect example of how you know cars rust from the inside out look at all these sand debris it's like a perfect uh, environment look at all that sand coming out 
This is the perfect environment for rust to grow and rust to carve from inside out. Hoping the camera catches that. But it's insane the amount of like now there was a there was like a paint failure in there. This would probably would have, would have rushed right through it. Given time, of course. So I'm gonna clean all this out. And then throw a layer of uh fluid film in there. But I get all this. Look at all that. That was inside this right here. Hmm, that's not good. Got this dirt out. That's crazy. Okay, now comes to the overview of the process. Uh, everything here you see is covered uh, in fluid film. You can see a, like a more of a, a thick layer of grease right there. Especially right here, I put extra because of the uh, wear and tear from the just rocks just kicking on it. So it's actually bare pink right there. I'm adding another layer right there in case it rusts. Um, another thing is that do the same thing over here. Um, I avoided basically all the rubber covering, but it is okay to basically um, uh, for it to like you know some overspray on the boots of the axle, which is fine, it does not hurt it or harm it. Uh, same thing with backside. This is how it looks like. I cover all the rust, and it's actually soaking into the rust, so you can't really even see the rust anymore. If you see the before and after, it's it's day and night, so you can see rust right here. That's how it was back there. Look at that! Look at that! It just soaks it right in, and, and no more. You know, that's that's definitely what you want. Um, what else? That thing here looks good. Even the rust here, you can see right there, is like seeding right into it. So it's definitely uh, seems to be a very good product. Hopefully, it lasts.